reference I had to autism beforehand was Rain Man. I, I like the film, I like the man. Yeah, Johnny. I should say he's got no savant qualities. He does have a very good thing that he does where he claps and he gets through cues very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and he shouts out non sequiturs. I'd like to think I'm original, but I couldn't make stuff look up like this. You know, escalator tomato. Now, it means something to Johnny. And, and, it, and it has a significance, and there must be something, but when you hear it, you don't know, and of course, there are other people around, it has an effect. When we first was with Johnny, and he'd do stuff, you get slightly embarrassed. But we have no embarrassment whatsoever. We love the fact that we're different. <laughs> I wrote all these on Saturday morning while my wife went to Infinity Foods with Johnny. Uh, and you can't miss Johnny, he's, he's six foot four and he's got these big headphones on. He's the happiest person I know. He has his moments, and a lot of people here that with autistic kids will know they have the moments. He bites himself, he's got scars up his arms. He's not very good with sound, so uh, we, we've got these headphones. It's quite funny, people think he's listening to records. Do you know he may be? I have no idea. But not through those, because those are from B&Q. <laughs> They're for drilling. <laughs> this picture here was the first picture that I, I looked at. So I got my boxes, I got a thousand of these pictures, and I started putting them into different sections. And uh, I was thinking, certain pictures made me feel something, either hate or love or embarrassment. And I took those out and I said, right, I wanted to write about these. And th this was the first one. This is the first poem I wrote after 20 years. Johnny is not interested in having his photo taken. When prompted, he will look at the lens. His hand is likely to move at any moment. I suspect he is not sure what is expected of him. Smile, he says. It doesn't smile, it just says smile, echoing the words from behind the camera. <laughs> I love living in Brighton. Some of you will recognise that, the anchor, down near the Sea Life Centre, when we first found that. Johnny was autistic. We looked at everything, PEX, A, B, A, I've got them written down here, Tomatis, oxygen in pressure chamber, some weird shit exercise that took him back to the womb. Homeopathy, music therapy, art therapy, gluten and casein free diets, supplements, omega 12, uh, and we did do swimming with dolphins. <laughs> There's a sort of an enormity to the challenge of doing this, and something about this anchor jumped out at me. This is, this is called anchor. There is something about a sense of scale. A small anchor is commonplace, almost a toy, but a real size anchor from a real life ship. The sheer weight is impressive, immovable. No tide or wind can pull it away. Exhumed from the deep, it lies here, like a heart exposed. 